Welcome to First Word Farmer's News Roundup for June the 7th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, Valiant Pharmaceuticals expect sales this year to be in the range of $9.9 billion to $10.1 billion, down from an earlier estimate of $11 billion to $11.2 billion. Meanwhile, earnings per share are now predicted to be between $6.60 and $7, cut from prior guidance of $8.50 to $9.50. Also in the news, Biogen's opacinumab failed to improve physical function, cognitive function and disability in people with relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis. The company noted that evidence of a clinical effect with a complex unexpected dose response was observed in the mid-stage study. In other news, a U.S. judge voided a jury decision ordering Gilead Sciences to pay $200 million to Merck & Co. for infringing patents related to hepatitis C drugs. The judge said a retired Merck scientist intentionally fabricated testimony and Merck supported his bad faith conduct. In addition, the FDA requested dystrophin data from an ongoing study of Sarepta Therapeutics at Aplersen as part of its ongoing evaluation of the Duchenne muscular dystrophy treatment. The drug maker indicated that it plans to submit data from 13 patient biopsy samples at baseline and week 48 to the agency over the coming weeks. And finally, a Phase three study of Alexion Pharmaceuticals Solaris in patients with refractory generalized myasthenia gravis failed to meet its main efficacy goal. However, CEO David Halal noted that there were positive signs including the fact that patients improved on some secondary measures of the trial. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 